want to be successful in business? I want you to promise me something. From this day forward, you're going to declare war on mediocrity. You're going to declare war on mediocrity. What do I mean? I mean that being okay, being average, creates nothing but pain in your business, in my business, and in every business that I've ever worked in. And that is one of the biggest problems in small business. Let me ask you a question. If you're poor at sales and marketing, and so many business people are, they say to me things like, well, you know, I'm on LinkedIn, but I don't do very much. No, I don't really understand that SEO. You know, oh, digital marketing. No, I, I don't understand that either. Or, you know, do you know what, Steve? I just don't have time for all this. That's like saying, I don't have time to grow my business. Why would you do that? Why would you settle for less than you deserve? I really don't get it. And the truth of the matter is, if you're poor at sales and marketing of your business, you will never, ever, ever be successful. How could you? How can you grow a business that doesn't sell products? You know, the only way of growing a business or growing a profit is to reduce costs and increase sales. You can reduce costs by a little bit. You can increase sales by as much as you want. You know, you can go to, you know, a multi-billion pound company if you want to, if you're truly committed to doing so. Um, but the question is, you know, A, what do you want? And B, what are you going to do? Uh, so if you're poor at sales and marketing, I don't care why that is. Whether it's because you've not got the time, you don't understand modern marketing, now is the time to get rid of the standard called poor. Because poor equals pain. Poor equals poverty. Poor means that you're probably going to go bust like 80% of businesses do within five years. Five years. 80% of businesses go bust. You know, how painful is that? Now, assuming you don't want to be in that group, this is about being okay. Or is it? Being okay, what sort of rewards do most people get in their marketing? If we're okay, if we're average, if we're the same as anybody else, what sort of rewards do you think most businesses get? And the truth is, they get poor rewards. Most of the businesses I see, the small business owners, you know, you go to networking events and people tell, tell me, you know, oh yeah, I'm going great. When I actually dig underneath and get under the cover, actually they're not. They're struggling to survive. They're perhaps making enough money to pay the bills buy some petrol and just about paying anybody that works for them. They're struggling, struggling, struggling. If you take a leap up a scale from something called good, which is average, to something called excellent, which is, you know, if poor's down here, average is here, excellent is somewhere up here, then what sort of rewards do you get for being excellent? The answer to that is good. And it really pisses me off. You know, if you're excellent at something, if you're in the top 10%, the rewards are good. You know, just examine sport. You know, if you're in the top 10% at sport, you don't get the, you know, multi-million pound night contracts and the, you know, uh, whatever it is, millions for winning Wimbledon. You get that for being what I call outstanding. Outstanding, standing out, being better than everybody in your market. And that's where I believe you need to play. You need to look at your marketing, you need to look at your sales, and you need to say to yourself and your team, how do we stand out from the crowd? Now, let me be clear, that doesn't mean you've got to have the best, most expensive website or the best, most expensive anything. What it means is you've got to take your systems, your procedures, the things that you do, the actions that you take, the follow-up that you make, what you do on LinkedIn, what you do on email, what you do in your marketing as a whole, and say, that ain't good enough. I need to raise my game. We need to raise our game. We need to be better. We need to be at a level that is just a little bit better than excellent called outstanding. Now, if you want to be outstanding, if you're truly committed to standing out from your competition, your next step 
is to speak to me. I want to help you. I've been doing it for a quarter of a century. I've helped thousands of businesses in hundreds of industries make literally millions upon millions of pounds. I had a guy a little while ago came to my LinkedIn workshop. He made 42 million pounds worth of business in the first year. 42 million, that is unbelievable. I got many stories of people making hundreds of thousands of pounds as a result of my training. You know, and you know, I really hope you're gonna take action. I hope I've motivated you. All I want you to do right now is to pick up the phone. I want you to book a results meeting with me. It's free. You can spend an hour with me. I'll give you loads of value and I'll talk to you about how uh, together we can really kickstart your business and turn it from something that's sucking the blood out of you uh, to something that's providing you with a truly outstanding income because you're truly outstanding at selling and marketing your products and services. Thanks very much for listening. You want to know more? Go to stevemills.co and I look forward to hearing from you.